One of the main questions we get here at GeoTarget is, who would I be working with and working for? Well, we have two main sales leaders here at GeoTarget, Kevin Rennert and David Baird. And not only did both these guys start in the field as sales reps, but they're still selling. And quite often, they outsell their own reps. And David and Kevin and I have been working together for over five years on this and other marketing products. And I'm proud to say that every member of the leadership team started out in the field selling just like the position you're applying for. Another question that I receive quite frequently is what is the main challenge your sales rep face? Well, the main challenge reps face is the suspicious posture that a business must take towards almost every advertising opportunity. Most advertising products, unfortunately, don't do anything to help the business, yet, this does not keep them from aggressively calling business owners trying to sell these products. Therefore, business owners, well, they can be conditioned to simply say no to every advertising opportunity, and it is this prejudice that our sales reps must overcome. Sometimes we can say the right things to overcome the prejudice, and often, because of the prejudice, we just have to work harder. Therein lies the great challenge separating ourselves from the majority of advertising products that fail to perform for their clients. And a question I get on almost every conversation with a potential sales rep is, tell me about your comp plan. Well, there are two parts to most every sales comp plan. The, there's the fixed portion, which is your salary and benefits, and there's the variable portion, which includes your commission and bonuses. All our reps have very good benefits along with a competitive salary based on their experience. The more verifiable experience an applicant has, the more comfortable I am with a larger fixed salary and a lower commission. With less experience, we may offer less salary with higher commissions. We also offer flexibility after the hire. For example, a rep may start out at a high salary and has success, and then we can increase the variable and lower that salary so they can take maximum advantage. All that being said, the majority of our sales reps are positioned to earn close to or over $100,000 this year with our top earner close to two hundred k. Another factor in comp plans is the renewal rate and we are steadily moving towards a renewal rate that leads this industry. This is a part of our business that we are very proud of and a great testament to our team. And another question that we receive quite frequently is, tell me about the day-to-day -day life in a sales rep. Well, the day-to-day -day here is a high activity process that requires a lot of lightly researched cold calls in order to get qualified Zoom or in-person appointments. You know, this isn't glamorous. We see lots of gatekeepers that we try to work with or work through or even work around. Our prospects get a lot of calls with products that most of the time aren't quite worth their time, much less their money. And distinguishing the good from the bad can be challenging for almost all our business prospects. So this process that our sales reps follow can prove tedious and frustrating even for the best of us. The process of cold calling affects people differently. Some folks move forward with purpose after rejection, while others take it a little more personally. If you're in the latter group, this probably isn't the right position for you. But if you're in the move forward with purpose group after a little rejection, then please keep learning about the company. Personally, having started full commission in the field, I understand how challenging building a successful territory is. And now that I have an opportunity to support an organization full of folks taking on this difficult challenge, 
we'll be doing everything in our power to provide high quality leadership, a culture that supports and challenges, and a product that puts you in a very good chance for a renewal. Most of our reps are now working from home and doing Zoom appointments with prospects, while a few others are in the field doing in-person appointments at clients' offices. We like whenever we're able to be flexible with the individual style of the rep. We have loads of contests and incentives that keep things fun, and mainly it helps to work alongside great people that are trying to do good jobs for their clients. Another question I get asked quite frequently is, tell me about your training program. The best part of our training program is the fact that we have a proven system to offer. We have a step-by-step -step process that will guide you towards success. And we place you with a proven seller for two weeks where you're learning by doing and we're evaluating while teaching. Here's a quick piece of insight. Our trainers and leaders are sellers and they realize that being talented on the phone is key. This is what we look for first. I'm very proud that we're able to offer living examples of success as trainers, people that are working the process to a six-figure income. Another question I get is, how many phone calls a day do your reps usually make? A good number is somewhere between 50 to 75, depending on the rep. Some reps work a little faster than others. Some reps like to research a little more than others. And different volumes are okay to a point. But if they're not making 50 phone calls a day, they're probably a little light. Another question is, what type of bonus and incentives do we offer? We have monthly bonuses and commissions based on sales. And one thing we mainly do that a lot of companies don't is we offer contests. And these are very aggressive, fun contests that we do quite frequently. They're weekly contests and sometimes bi-weekly contests and we throw them out and they're quite lucrative. And I find it a great way to get a lot of money to our top performers by utilizing these sales contests. Another question I get is tell me about the ramp up time for success of a salesperson here at GeoTarget. That's very individualized. Right, obviously. So some people just gather, grasp things a little quicker than others, and that's okay. What I want to see is someone moving in the right direction. That's what our leaders are looking for. And people that come here and, and they take off quickly, great. Obviously, we like that. Others, we see it take time, and we're patient with that. And sometimes we see folks that can't quite get on that direction towards success and we act accordingly there too. But we're very patient as long as we see someone making the right steps in the right direction. Another question we get is about our turnover rate. One thing to realize about turnover is any business to business sales company is going to have higher turnover than a lot of businesses. So as I talk, no, I'm comparing myself to other companies in our world. And one of the reasons we have one of the lowest turnover rates that I've seen is because of how careful we are when we hire. In one of my earlier videos, I talked about the personality profiles and the training and the comp plan and the culture. And when we're able to selectively hire the right people and put them with the right training program in the right culture, we have more than our fair share of success. And we tend to find top performers and we endeavor to treat them in such a way that they never want to leave.